Hello, hello, Pisces, Aries, Cusp, welcome to my channel. I am Tiarka Love. How are you all doing? All right, Pisces, Aries, Cusp, I am going to see who, well, we're going to see together, okay? Who and what is coming towards you all in regards to love, all right? So what's coming towards you all and who is coming towards you all? Please know, Pisces, Aries, Cusp, that these will be general messages. They may or may not resonate with all of you beautiful individuals. If you find messages here that resonate, please feel free to take them with you. If you find messages here that does not resonate with you at all, then just please do leave them here on the table to allow someone to pick them up that they will resonate with. Okay, okay. All right, y'all, if you all are new here, again, welcome. I really hope you're going to find some messages here that will be helpful to you all. If you all are returning, welcome back, you all. Thank you to everyone that has previously liked, subscribed, shared, or even just commented. I, I mean, like, subscribe, share, commented, or even just watched, okay? I greatly appreciate it. <laughs> All right, Pisces, Aries, Cusp. Also, if you all are active on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and you would like to go check me out on my other social media platforms, please uh, just go down to that description box below. Click there on the links. It will see you there, okay? All right, y'all. Let's get started. We're going to take a look at what is coming towards you first, all right? So, um, in regards to love, Pisces, Aries, Cusp, what is coming towards you all? A lot of gossip here, okay? A lot of outside influences here that is affecting this relationship. It's delaying and preventing um, things from becoming something right now. Um, anything serious, okay? Also, Pisces, Aries, Cusp, um, your connection is blocked either by a third party or some outside influences again. So you do want to shift your focus on yourself and release them uh, for now, okay? Um also, in regards to what is coming towards you all, you got this intensity. So, the intensity of this connection is very strong and deep. The intent is so intense and overwhelming that you may run from it. So, it's very strong. It's a very strong, deep connection here that you and this person have with each other. But we do have a lot of outside influences, whether it's, uh, well, it's people, it's gossip here it's a lot that is delaying this connection at this time okay we're going to look more into the gossip all right so with this what is coming towards you this um the gossip here the talking the influences could be coming from uh, someone that is in a connection here um maybe with your person it's someone in a connection but they only stand there out of convenience Okay, so their heart belongs to someone else. This gossip could be in regards to the situation here. Okay, so a uh, little um, yeah. So what is coming towards you all? You could be receiving some maybe some news, or someone is going to come and tell you something about how someone is staying, how your person or whatever the case may be is in a situation out of convenience. I don't know. Y'all let me know. All right. Let's look more into the blocked here. Okay. All right. So what is blocked here? Um, you two need to, there is a need to give up the control. Okay. So both of you need to start to give up on the, um, it's just this need to control. Okay. I don't know why I kept saying need, need. All right. So someone could constantly be like, I need, I need, I need. But it's not about giving up on the connection. It'll be about accepting that you can't run from destiny here. So someone has to surrender. Maybe um, these two have to, someone has to surrender out of the situation that they is in um, just for convenience here. Okay. In order for things to start moving all right so i don't know all right so hopefully what's coming towards you all is this person going to start to surrender come out of the situation that um it's only benefiting well it's only convenience okay so let's look more into the intensity all right so the intensity here you have this clarity so what's coming towards you all is you gaining mental clarity um, hopefully this person is going to be getting rid of distractions or you're going to be getting rid of the distractions here. Um, hopefully it's going to start to see things from a new perspective. Okay. Also, this person, um, 
anus connection here is maybe resisting it their guard is up they're trying not to fall in love so what is coming towards you all is this person going to still be a bit guarded here all right so let's keep going let's see who is coming towards you all pisces aries cusp we do have someone here that is starting to awaken your twin is awakening to your soul, um, to your connection, and they are ready to put the work in to manifest a reunion in 3D. So expect some progress. So who is coming towards you all? Someone that is wanting some progress here. Um, expect a romantic gesture or offer. Okay, so someone is going to come in with a gesture, an offer that could surprise you. They're going to want to celebrate. A union here with you okay could be this ladies man all right who is coming towards you a ladies man here this person at first was not quite ready for a commitment we don't know if they still want to be ready for a commitment but the ladies man is coming towards you all right all right this convenience y'all um also let's see who is coming towards you it's going to be someone that was staying in the situation out of convenience here okay um that could be you pisces aries because so if you are just staying in a situation out of convenience you do want to go through this awakening here or allow yourself to go through this awakening okay be open and ready you got to be open and ready to accept this romantic offer okay who is coming towards you it's going to be someone where it's y'all charts are going to like align here it could be the charts align perfectly or learning more about this person could help you in your relationship here so um let's look more into this ladies man this ladies man okay so there is a possibility here that this could work but this may translate into a project and you do have to decide if it's worth it okay it looks like this person do maybe have a difficult time choosing um uh, or it's having a difficult time right now it's caught between two loves loves the both of love the both of you all for different reasons here all right so let's keep going pisces aries cusp let's look more into the what and who is coming towards you all what is coming towards Pisces Aries? Oh my goodness, y'all ain't getting all those. All right, what is coming towards Pisces Aries? Cause quality time here. So quality time means putting away the phone, clearing your brain of anything distracting, so you can ensure that your partner is your number one focus. Um, you do have to be ready for love here. Okay, so. It looks like you and this person have been understandably guarded, scared of being hurt again. But you have taken the time to heal. Now you are ready to try love again. So maybe this newfound um, inspiration is going to come towards you all because you're ready. Okay. You're ready to explore. Explore. You do want to take a ride. Explore new scenery of your person's inner thoughts here. Okay. So let's see who is coming towards you all. All right, this person that wants to control things here. Um, by trying to control the situation, you'll only slow down your answer prayers. Let the divine take the lead or maybe some control. Um, who is coming towards you all? Maybe it's going to, well, this ladies man here that had an issue with control could be. Okay. All right. Also, you have getting to know each other. So for some of you all, there's someone that is new here and you do want to enjoy discovering new commonalities and goals as you get to know more about uh this person here okay that is coming towards you all all right so let's look more into the what is coming towards pisces aries cusp we have self-worth so you realizing your self-worth or maybe your person here um you know, um, knowing that, you know, you deserve the best here, okay? Um, someone realizing their self-worth, okay? Um, some decisions. So, what is coming towards you all? Maybe these, uh, maybe going to be able to finally make a decision or you have to make a decision here, okay? Decide what you want. Decide where you want to plant these seeds, okay? Let's look more into who is coming towards you all. It's going to be someone that um, you two are going to... Fulfill each other wishes here. Could be the genie in the bottle. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. So who is coming towards you all? Hopefully it's someone that has 
um, broken away the toxicity here, came out of the toxic situations. Um, also, we have some karma, but there's going to be some balance. All right. So let's see. Let's get um, a message or two in regards to the timing. Divine timing. Tell us more about what for Pisces, Aries, Cusp, the what in love. Patience is not the right time, okay? So, um, got to be patient. All right, now let's see who. All right, could be uh, December, could be a significant month, uh, could be in December when this person coming uh, come towards you all. All right, so let's, let's get some more messages. Let's look more into the who is coming towards Pisces, Aries, Cusp. Y'all keep trying to get a lot of messages. All right, who is coming towards you? We have born in May, so this person could be born in May. Um, their name could begin with the letter K or N with the letter K. This person could be a Libra, Scorpio, Cusp here, um, or someone that was born in October, between the days of October 19th through the 26th. Okay, this person could have a tongue ring or like tongue rings. <laughs> This person could really like cats. I don't know. Maybe, um, you know, uh, pussy cats. Okay. Anyway, uh, the cats. All right. So this person could love to be in nature or be out in nature here. And this person could love the color red. All right. Since we said color red, we got December again. So it could be born in December. All right. So let's get some more messages. <laughs> Pisces, Aries, Cusps are looking more into the what is coming towards you all. Alright, so what's coming towards you all is maybe you feeling like this person did not appreciate your love here. You wanted a new beginning here, but you need to know that you can trust this person. Otherwise, you're like, I'm not going to surrender. Okay. When it comes to the who is coming towards you all, it's going to be someone that want to make things fair between the two of you. Uh, they realize that they were selfish. They do see your value. Okay. Also, they feel like um, it's going to be someone that feel like that uh, you both walked away from something. You both walked away from something that was wonderful. Um, could have been wonderful here. They are sad here. All right. So let me get you all some advice. Advice for the what is coming towards you all. All right. So know that you are safe and divinely guided here. Your soulmate. All right. So your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. So that's what's coming towards you all. You're going to feel this feeling of love, acceptance, a uh, lot of respect, and uh, unconditional. Okay. Also, you being more vulnerable here, or maybe you realize in here that maybe you can be a bit more vulnerable. I don't know. All right, so let's look at more into who. Advice for who. Okay, so you got to work on forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward here. Um, whoever coming towards you all, you do want to make sure that one party is not uh, deple depleted while the other is benefited. Okay, you do want to make sure things become balanced. Okay, also, this person that is coming towards you all, uh, they not maybe they're not going to express how they truly feel. Okay, all right, so Pisces, Aries, Cusp, these are your messages. I really hope they will be helpful. Thank you all so much for joining me. Thank you all for your likes, subscribe, shares, comments. I greatly appreciate it. I am sending you all so much love, so much light and positivity. I will see you beautiful people next time. Bye.